It has been a long time coming, but we're finally back, this time with a list of my top 10 funniest rebirth moments in no particular order. There are so many great moments in rebirth, there are so many funny moments in rebirth, and a lot of serious moments too, but I'd like to highlight my top 10 funny moments in no particular order. Here we go. Aerith calling herself a dumbass. I'm telling you, this sequence was one that I did not see coming after such a serious and awesome rendition of the Nibelheim incident. We have Aerith telling us about how she found out about it on the Shinra news in Midgar. Barrett tells her that, hey, Shinra is not to be trusted and anyone that does trust them. Question, does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... And that was not something that two hours into this experience was I expecting to hear from Brianna White's mouth. And then Aerith proceeding to say how her back hurt and then Tifa offering to massage her. It, it didn't feel real. <gasps> wow. You weren't kidding, were you? It didn't feel like I was actually witnessing this, but it was real and it was happening and I could not look away. So good stuff. Let it be known that I loved the Junon area. The sun, the sea, the landscape, and the retro look of Cloud, Tifa, and Barrett in Fort Condor. Anyway, Cloud and the party in Junon, dressing up in Shinra MP gear, and the whole parade sequence was one of my favorite points of the game, personally. I thought it was super funny. That point leading up to Costa del Sol in the original game as well had the same type of humor and I was really looking forward to it and Rebirth sure didn't disappoint. From Cloud trying on his Shinra fatigues, trying to sneak a peek at Tifa and Aerith's bare feet. Okay, maybe that was just me. Come on Cloud, you really need to be this close? I mean, he's gonna be a lot Scram! closer. No, I understand boundaries. Occupied. To Tifa and Aerith being playful with Cloud. You got me. <laughs> that whole sequence was just adorable, and I personally could not take Cloud serious in that helmet. He looks so funny. Uh, I can't stand it. Bonus points to Barrett for looking like a bear wearing a marshmallow, if you get that reference. Shot you. You look... what? Wow. Even the gals could not resist cracking up. Red 13, I mean <clears throat> Nanaki, doing the moonwalk. I get to show my hand. Oh, that's right. <gasps> no! Not the moonwalk! Not the moonwalk! Not the spin! I mean, I expected some bipedal shenanigans on the ship, but I honestly couldn't have expected that, and I'm sure no one really did. I mean, did you? It certainly took me by surprise. Red certainly cranked out those moves. Where did he even learn to moonwalk? And was he watching Michael Jackson videos in his spare time? Where the hell did this come from? It was a moment of fan service of the best kind, and I'm all for it, because he's adorable, and for him to be the final opponent, well, it, it was everything I wanted in a card battle. Oh my god, please. Let's play. I choose you, Exodia! And it felt like a fever dream in a lot of ways, but it's okay, because FF7 is like a fever dream most of the time. Arrival to Costa del Sol. <laughs> Upon arrival, the team, especially Barrett and Nanaki, do not seem to be ready to have some fun in the sun and relax. They still seem, you know, a little uptight with everything going on, and Tifa and Aerith have other ideas. They are, after all, ladies in their 20s, and they might want to kick back, catch some rays, maybe swim. They're guilty as charged, however, when Barrett tells them, You better not be suggesting we all hit the beach. 
Hey, hey, I saw that. Don't go thinking I did. <laughs> you said it with your eyes. <laughs> they run off. Cloud's comment? Well, nothing. Which makes me giggle even more. It's hot. It, in the sun. Is anybody, anybody, surprised that I put this on the list? Good. You shouldn't be. Oh my god. Diva, you look as sleek as a dolphin, and Aerith as diaphanous as a jellyfish. So after the awkward exchange, Cloud sees both of them in their bathing suits, but Tifa is a particular point of focus, and if you ever thought Cloud's attraction to Tifa was in doubt, well, this moment makes it very apparent. Cloud? Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. <laughs> It's just hot. Uh, in the sun. Speaking of which, you guys should probably put on sunscreen. <laughs> you might want to go first. That's some sage advice, Mr. Pasty. Heck, I think Tifa should have told Cloud, Hey Cloud, my eyes are up here. <laughs> Speaking of Cloud's attraction to Tifa, multiple Tifas. The way Yuffie teases Cloud, she is such a younger sister to Cloud. I mean, that's their dynamic. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> you can unlock this scene when you do Johnny's Tomberry King quest in the Corel region. This is one of the conversations that Yuffie has with Cloud. Uh, okay, what about Tifa? Uh, <laughs> Thinking naughty thoughts? Oh, shut up. Busted! I thought ninjas were supposed to be silent. Oh, forgive me for interrupting your fantasies. I'll let you get back to being her. I mean, okay, Yuffie, call it out for what it is because wow, I never thought we'd get something like this in Rebirth. Then again, I didn't think we'd get some of the things we had in Remake too, so I digress. Yuffie joins the party. After the assassination attempt of Rufus and Junon and helping the party out against Hojo and Costa del Sol, Yuffie makes a plea to finally join the party. She gives us a long monologue and makes her dramatic intro, of course. And then the way Cloud responds really exemplifies his personality. The way she is talking with him, you know, really exemplifies hers as well. The interaction is so hilarious, and this is how Cloud responds. Cool. Uh, hey, hold it, you spiky hair jerk face! Where do you think you're going? I challenge you to a duel! And I chose to bring it. And then Yuffie backs out on her offer to fight. I love it. Cloud Jr. Now, I said that there were plenty of serious moments in Rebirth, but there are plenty moments of levity too, and these show the reason why FF7, I think, is so beloved, because the likes of Cloud Jr. stepping onto the scene again right when the party is reunited before Corel, and he perches on Cloud's shoulders, it's just the best type of teasing and the best type of reference towards Cloud basically being a chocobo, and... I love that for him. I've always loved the nickname Chocobo Head. And it was, it was kind of such a great love letter to the fans in a way because even though the joke was already present in the original game, I just felt like it was such an integral part of my experience playing FF7. Just loving Cloud's hair, so definitely one of my favorite moments, although I know Cloud didn't really appreciate it very much. It was gold. Intro to Gold Saucer. Ah, the Gold Saucer. Who could forget such a memorable location? And one that we were all looking forward to. Remake had the Honey Bee Inn. This time Rebirth had the Gold Saucer. And what a time it was between Tifa, Aerith, and Yuffie's magical synchronized dancing to male dancers facing off with them and thrusting in the air. Oh, and our favorite bear, Dio, introducing himself. <laughs>
Oh my god, it's <laughs> thirsting. Oh my god. <laughs> Bonus points for the jiggling and then challenging Cloud to a duel. The <laughs> intro could not have been better. And then transitioning to pixelated retro cloud. Oh, you know I'm weak for pixels. Literally pixels. The poses, the looks. This was Cloud's moment to show off. And he did, he did. And Cloud cracking the cutest smiles afterwards. Dio truly found his new favorite twink. And we loved it. We love to see it. And my final moment, Cloud as a cactuar. What is with all these funny moments relegated to the Corel region? It's tickling me. So anyway, when you do the proto-relic quest in the Corel region, Cloud and Co. search for these modular reactors that they have to unseal and enter to take on a cactuar's challenge. Now, the first time that they unseal a reactor, boy, the, a funny sequence unveils. Um, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious. The music that's playing, the fact that it's the Shinra cargo ship music in the original Final Fantasy VII just makes it so much funnier. And then the fact that Yuffie is laughing at him too. This was another moment that recently caught me off guard. Props to the developers for that one. How about you, dear viewers? Did you find these moments as funny as I did? Were there other ones that you wanted to point out to me? Let me know in the comments below. Now it's a journey to 900, so thank you so much for those who have supported me and who have subscribed to me. I appreciate you more than you you know. I'll see you on the next video, okay? Bye-bye.